Do you need an app? Well, a Japanese startup has a platform for that. In a country like Japan, where there's a shortage of engineers and programmers, finding someone to make an app may be tough, and that's where Yapply comes in. The company designs off the shelf apps that clients can manage locally without needing to hire programmers. For more, Bloomberg's Aika Maki joins us now from Tokyo. Aika, tell us more about how this works. If I was a fashion designer, for example, and I wanted to make an app to sell my clothes, how do I get started using Yapply? Yeah, so if you're a fashion designer, you would like to use an app to be able to reach out to your client, right? So、um, you would go into this interface and you would choose the color and design that you would like for this app to be. And you would choose a function that you would like to put on this application.、Um, in order to do so, you would just need to drag and drop、uh, whatever you would like to put on your application, such as、uh, sending a notification about the new article or the product, or sending a coupon to get it to your clients. And in order to be able to do this, you would not need to be able to code or be able to program by yourself. And we talked to the CEO together. Here's Yasubumi Ihara on how he started the business. We realized a big, huge gap that、uh, people want to have a mobile app, also, but also it's very difficult to to develop. So we that, that's why we pro, we wanted to provide a no code mobile app platform so that anyone, basically anyone, can uh, develop uh, and use mobile apps. So Aika, Yapply went public in December. How's it doing since its IPO? Okay, so the share is almost doubled since its IPO, and its market cap as of today is around seven hundred fifty million dollars.、Um, it is as big as its peer software companies in Japan, which has a lot of interest、uh, from the investors in terms of、um, its contribution to digital transformation in Japanese companies. So, looking ahead, what's in store for the startup? So, Yapri has also attracted attention because it's on the wave of digital transformation, which is being pushed by the administration of Prime Minister Suga. So, there's a great need for engineers in Japan, but some companies are struggling to find enough engineers to promote digitalization. So, there's Yapri to fill such gaps to provide easy app making service, which contributes to their better outreach to their clients. Or efficiently share information via app within the company. Their service is now introduced by more than 450 companies, such as Toyota and NEC. And after they reach a thousand companies in Japan, they aim to expand overseas within three to five years.